Stop me if you've seen this one before. An aerial view of riders descending a tree-lined mountain. Dramatic music swelling in the background. A voiceover telling you why this team's story is unique. Why this one matters. I'm not gonna lie. You have seen it before. And in no way is the Alpha Bicycle Groove Silverthorn Cyclocross team trying to reinvent the wheel. The bike? And we'll get to that in due time, maybe. But the wheel? We're gonna leave that for another day. Although there may be no reinvention, what this team is doing for the 2021-2022 season isn't to follow the path of the traditional development team. In fact, they don't even like the word development, opting instead for homegrown. A Colorado team helping young racers who live in the state become exceptional bike racers and even better people. While excelling inside the tape is a key focus area for Alpha, it's not the only one. In a sport that demands athletes to be somewhat selfish to achieve their goals, Alpha is striving to be more selfless in the way they operate by reducing their energy output through solar power and recycling efforts. It's just not the wheel, it's the entire cycle. Our sport in general has a, and sports in general have a carbon footprint um, that uh, we feel it's our responsibility to help reduce and help offset. Um, at the same time, we have a large focus as a team on local um, homegrown athletes, local brands, local support, and we wanted those carbon offset credits to actually um, benefit a local uh, environmental initiative. So we partnered with May Ranch uh, out in Lamar, Colorado, and uh, we'll be purchasing carbon offset credits to offset our fuel consumption for the vehicle, um, event support, um, the uh, all of our airline travel, and uh, and they will use those to further their efforts in, in conservation. Where this ranch will never be plowed up. I mean, in perpetuity, forever. Yeah, nice. We can't destroy any of the grass, we can't build houses, we can't build anything on it. The way you see this ranch today is the way it'll be 200 years from now. Hi, I'm Lauren Zerner. My name is Ross Elweb Sam Brown. Michaela Thompson. This is Jules Van Kempen. I actually grew up on the Alpha team and kind of being raised in that environment and community, I was always looking up to people, uh, the older racers, and I would see them and what they're accomplishing. And I just kind of always wanted that for myself and I loved being a part of that community. So being on the team is just a great opportunity to develop myself further. I mean, you can see the success of previous people, which really inspired me. And you could see how people were growing on the team. And I thought it would be a good environment for me to keep developing as an athlete. So this year we're kind of broadening um, our team. And it's super important to me, particularly because I'm studying biology and I've always been outside and love nature. This, this year Alpha is working with May Ranch in, out of Lamar, Colorado buying carbon credits to offset our carbon footprint, whether it be travel or uh, par using power washers or driving around, and just to help create an impact and or help improve the environment. Racing definitely involves a lot of travel and a lot of extra things that just going out and riding a bike would normally need. So being able to lessen that impact is, I think, really cool. The team looking more outside of the scope of just bike racing is really interesting and I've always had almost a passion for conservation and like how important it is in the world we live in and I think that after going to May Ranch the other day and seeing what it's all about and having a part in that feels special. I think.